What's going on, guys? I'm TieFly85. And I'm T-Rex87. And today we're going to be doing our review of the Justice League movie. Let's get started. So, I just got back from seeing the Justice League, and TieFly actually saw it on, I believe, Monday. And Sunday. Sunday. And we wanted to uh, give our review on it. And the first part of our review is going to be uh, as spoiler free as possible. Um, it's gonna, the first part's gonna be pretty short, just a couple minutes, and then we will delve into spoiler territory, so be warned, we will definitely let you know. Um, but first we just wanted to talk about just like the, the story as a whole, um, and you know, what we kind of thought of just the characters as a whole, and just kind of a generalized uh, review. So, what did you think of the characters? I thought the characters were were great. Uh, so going into the movie, I was a little concerned overall as far as like Cyborg and Flash were really the only two that I was really mostly concerned about. Um, but I will definitely say, walking out of it, I I was completely satisfied and blown away. Yeah, you know, I so Flash, I wasn't as concerned about. I didn't think he was that funny in the trailers. I think in the movie, he stole the show. Um, any scene he was in, I pretty much was just laughing my you know laughing my butt off. Um, Cyborg in the trailers, and I think they must have gone back and done a little bit of, a little more CGI with him, because in the trailers he looked so bad, and he didn't look quite as bad in the movie. He was still, you could still definitely tell it was a CGI character, but it, it, I feel like it wasn't quite as bad as it was in the trailers. Yeah, they actually did redo the suit before the, the finalized product, so that's why the trailer looks extremely different from the final product. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So yeah. that's good to know because I, I could, when I was watching, it, I was like, oh wow, maybe I'm remembering this differently, you know, because it didn't seem nearly as bad as it as I thought it was. But well, if any of you want to actually like do a test for yourself, go back and watch the original Justice League trailer, and then before you go watch the movie, because you'll see a huge difference between Cyborg and a few of the other characters actually, and a few minor changes. Yeah. So. Um, and as far as you know, obviously we're not going to delve into any spoilers right the second, but um, you know, obviously I thought Gal Gadot did a great job as Wonder Woman. Um, I think Ben Affleck does a really good Batman. I mean, it, it's, it's... I'll say his, his portrayal of Batman for this movie was hands down, I think, the best. Yeah. Like, you know, as far as Batman versus Superman, I think he did way better this time yeah. than he did in that movie. Yeah, for sure. Um, my only real disappointment in this movie, as far as characters goes, um, was Steppenwolf. And, you know, the main character, or the main, the main villain. He, to me, was really... A, just a one-dimensional cutout of, of a villain, you know? Like, there was no death to him at all. He just, like, showed up, and he's like, I'm going to blow up the Earth, you know? Like, and it was... <laughs> it, it, there was nothing to him, you know? It was kind of my whole thing. So it was a little bit disappointing, but... Yeah, he... I mean, it It almost seems like they're keeping up with... Uh, I mean, when Batman vs. Superman, you had Apocalypse, and it just... That character destroyed that movie for me and a lot of other people. Oh, Doomsday? So, I... Yeah, Doomsday, I apologize. Uh, as far as like Doomsday, I mean that movie pretty much was ruined because of that character. So I think I would say Steppenwolf like didn't really head in a better direction. I know that I mean I honestly think that Steppenwolf could have been pulled off if they would have just made a suit and put a guy in a suit and maybe made his like skin CG or something like. It just would have been a lot better if they just would have went a different route. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. I think they relied really way too heavily on CGI. I agree with the the suit thing. They could have done. Practical effects of Steppenwolf, and it would have been, he would have been a much better character for it, um, just just visually speaking. I mean, but I mean, even just as a, as a story character, he just was it was just a flat character, and that was kind of disappointing because yeah, I, I read something about Justice League actually on the on the way on the way home. Uh, somebody said you know basically you could replace him with like an alarm clock, and nothing would change. <laughs> You know, and I think that's totally true, you know, and so yes. <laughs> he is disappointing, but the rest of the cast did a great job. Um, the story as a whole, how did you feel about, I guess, like the, the pacing of the story and just the story as a whole? The pacing was good. I did feel like it, it, it kind of like took off right from the very beginning and then, you know, didn't let up to the very end. Uh, as far as the... The overall story, the story was really good. I did actually like the story. Uh, when we get into the spoiler side of this review, I definitely will have a lot more to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I really like the story. I thought there were a couple pacing issues, I guess. And I think this was backlash from Batman vs. Superman, maybe being almost three hours long. Um, I had read it was a kind of a, you know, they thought it was maybe the higher-ups demanding this movie be under two hours long. And I think this, the story suffered because of that. Um, the 
some of the characters that, that got introduced, like, you know, Aquaman, Flash, Cyborg, they didn't have, I feel like, as much time as they should have to develop. Because, um, you know, they're brand new characters, and they, they're main characters, and they would have needed that time to develop. And I think if another half hour of movie would have been good. So well, you know, one of the, the biggest things, uh, so when basically Warner Brothers, like, basically forced them to cut 40 minutes out of the movie. Yeah. So most of the cutting was uh, Aquaman, Flash, and Cyborg were the three characters that were almost completely cut. I, I honestly, to tell you the truth, one of the things that disappointed me the most uh, overall, the amazing movie, but uh, Aquaman. It, they, he, they, like, cut so many scenes out of the movie yeah. that, that literally what I feel like is in the movie you could have seen in the trailer. I do too. I, I absolutely agree with you there. I think his character has so much potential. Um, I think, uh, what's the actor's name? Jason Momoa? Momoa, yeah. He, he, I think he's doing a really good job embracing Aquaman. And for me, like, Aquaman, like, and, like, I don't know if anybody's ever seen, like, the Justice League, uh, like, the animated show from back in the day, or or the comics or anything like that, but I'm sorry, Aquaman sucked. He was just, like, this golden boy with blonde hair, <laughs> and he could talk to fish, and it was, you know, it was what it was, I guess, but... He, he's much, he's so much cooler in this movie, you know, like, he's got, like, just, like, this badass vibe to him, and I, I really enjoy his character, and I wish we could have seen more of him. Well, I, I think they're pulling from later comics when it comes to Aquaman, because in the later versions of Aquaman, uh, more of the more recent, he has that old man look with the beard and the longer hair, yeah. so I'm pretty positive that's where they're getting that from, because it's a, I mean... It's a way better look right. than the original, you know, orange and green Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like for sure. So, um, my only other gripe with this movie, and I was talking to my wife on the way out about this, and this isn't like a spoiler or anything like that, but this is my, like, personally as a human being, my gripe with this movie and my biggest complaint is how many gratuitous uh, Gal Gadot booty shots do we need in this movie? Um, there were no fewer than, like, three, I think, that I remember. And, and I get it. Like, she's, you know, she's a really pretty woman, and, you know, she's strong, she's sexy, and this and that, but we don't need, like, weird booty shots to, to, to you know... So Remind yeah, us. Yeah, you know, like, unless you're shooting this movie for, like, 16-year-old boys, I guess, I guess, you know, like, maybe that's what you want in there, but... Uh, to me, that was a really big letdown because Wonder Woman is such a strong character, you know, and I was just... I didn't need to see that in the movie, um... It just, it, to me, like, I noticed it, and I was like, really? You know, like, it really is disappointing. I, as far as it goes to kind of interject on your point there, I, I would feel that the reason they did the stuff that they did with Wonder Woman in this movie is because Wonder Woman, the movie, is, like, hands down the number one DC movie so far because everybody, everyone else has kind of not been right about where it should sure. be. Sure, yeah, no, I totally so, get that. But, but, so they were heavily relying on the whole Wonder Woman aspect, I, mean, I feel, to draw people in. But, That's why they cut so much, you know, cyborg, flash, Maybe you should and then her Aquaman. face instead. That's, <laughs> that's all, <laughs> all I'm right, saying. All right. That's point, all I'm saying. Hey, point being, film her more of her face. Yes. Yeah. You know, also when she's doing action too, I'd be fine with that. Let her go kick some people's butts. Yeah, like, all of her action scenes. Instead really of good. instead of showing her butt, right? <laughs> how about we watch her kick butt? Uh, that would all be of her action scenes are really good. So as far as I mean, as a general movie, I, I think there's some flaws. I think it has some like a little bit of pacing issues. I think we need an extended cut for sure. Um, I did thoroughly enjoy myself though. Um, so if I was to like score this movie um, before we delve into spoiler territory, I would give it. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, no, the movie was definitely awesome. Uh, it, I would say we'll get more into the whole spoiler side of it uh, and give a little bit more detail. But as far as the movie itself, I would definitely give it an 8.6 8.6, out of 10. so really good, okay. With that out of the way, now that we've, we've covered the basics, um, let's talk about the movie itself. So there are spoilers from this point on. You have been warned. Um, if you keep, <laughs> You've been warned. Yeah, if you keep watching this video and you haven't seen the movie... I mean, you're only hurting yourself at this point. Uh, what did you think of... Let's let's delve into the biggest spoiler first, I think. Obviously, Superman. What did you think of Superman? I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the whole Superman coming back aspect of it. Uh, I just... The character... The plot line overall of when Batman and Wonder Woman are together... And Bruce brings up that Batman basically brings up the idea. Let's bring back, you know, Superman back to life, uh -huh. and we'll do it with the same chamber that they did in Batman versus Superman with bringing in with bringing in Doomsday. 
So when it comes to that overall, it, I mean, it's almost like they drew the same storyline and then also that the same thing that Batman said in Batman versus Superman by saying, you know, if it's an absolute, there's 1% chance we need to take it. And that was for him trying to destroy Superman. And then now for the tables to be turned for Batman to now be bringing Superman back to life and being like, well, if there's the 1% right. chance. You know? So <laughs> it just, it just was kind of a funny parallel there of like how weird it was. Yeah, Batman's, but, uh... but I, it, it was all right. I didn't necessarily, I thought that they could have done a hands down better job if they would have stuck to him coming back and kind of like being out of it. So the black cape Superman. Yes. So kind of like the bad Superman, the, basically the evil Superman of Superman, right. where he just loses his mind. And I think that that would have been a, a better a better portrayal overall, honestly. Yeah, no, for sure. I agree, too. I mean, his whole scene when he came back, like, he was, like, he was just kicking everybody's ass, you know? Like, he like he was knocking, he, like, he's, like, headbutting Wonder Woman, you know, like, hitting Cyborg. Uh, Flash, that scene where Flash was going to, like, run around him and uh, sneak up behind him, and all of a sudden, like, Superman, like, looks at him, and Flash is like, oh! Like... Like, yeah. dude, it was so cool, you know? Like, I, I was freaking out about it. I was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. But they should have definitely, I think, brought him back as the Black Suit Superman and had him kind of, you know, maybe at the very end of the movie, you know, like, remember who he was and come back and save the day when everybody's, like, in super dire straits. But, it, I mean, it took him, like, five minutes to, like, he was like, oh, I'm fine. There's Lois. Like, it's, everything's fine. Well, to touch more on that, when it comes to Steppenwolf as a character, when we originally talked about, like, how what a letdown his character was, Superman, in this short little, maybe less than seven minute scene, was more intimidating of the whole movie than Steppenwolf was at any moment. Yeah, no, I I absolutely agree. I do think they could have done without um, the weird Superman evil voice, um, where he was talking. It wasn't he was, a weird. He was trying to talk like Christian Bale's bat Christian Bale's Batman. No, he was he was trying to talk like Batman back to Batman. That's why he said that line where it was just really odd, where he's all like, "Do you bleed?" Yeah, but, like of course he knows he bleeds. Why did he ask that? <laughs> no, I get that, but it, his voice the entire time, even when he wasn't talking to Batman, he was all like super deep throaty growly yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh. get it and it was just overdone I didn't like it I uh. but that literally was kind of uh his his like punch back to Batman in that one moment though for real saying the same thing to yeah him. I know. <laughs> do you believe that was a good that was a good line though um so obviously I think you know we should touch on uh mustache gate hashtag mustache gate um the scenes they reshot with uh Henry Cavill where they had to digitally remove his mustache uh, it, I noticed every single one of them. I did too. What's weird to me is when I was watching other reviews, people were just like, I didn't see it. Like, I didn't even notice it. But how can you not notice it? Oh, my goodness. He just look. It looks horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Like, I... I don't know who the heck over at Warner Brothers was just all like, "This is this is exactly what we <laughs> need. Let's one. roll that, <laughs> yeah. like yeah, fire that person." Because yeah. that, oh my goodness, that was not acceptable for the standard of the just. Like the whole rest of the movie was amazing, and then you see that one part, and you're just all like, "What? What? What just yeah, happened?" It was the same guy who animated Steppenwolf, apparently. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, like they have, they have like one animator, and that's it. And he's running like a ten year old computer. I did like the tone of the characters better. Um, I, I like that they tried to make this movie a little more lighthearted, not so much gloom and doom. Uh, the Flash stole every scene. He was funny in like every single scene that he was in. I, I was laughing out loud. Um, even Batman had a funny line, like after he got dropped. Like, he was just like, yeah, I'm definitely bleeding or whatever. You know, like, it was just, I thought it was really funny. Um, yeah. Oh, he, he says, he says, something's definitely bleeding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought that was really good. I, the Flash, though, overall, I would say, hands down, definitely stole the show when it comes to the comedic, comedic relief overall. Yeah. I loved the whole first part when Bruce meets him and they're walking away, getting into his car, and he's like, "What's your superpower again?" And Bruce is like, "I'm rich." Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, like it's just it's so funny. And then all of his references. How about the time when Batman ends up like making that pushes a little too far to Superwoman, mm -hmm. and then and then freaking Flash is just like, "Um, you know, we're all going to be on her side when she kills you, right?" Yeah. Like. It's just, it's just so funny. Like, and then the Pet Cemetery references that when he kept really saying funny. it to Superman. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I love yeah. it. That was amazing. That was it was so good. Funny. Um, the scene where Wonder Woman punched Batman, 
um, when she was pissed at him, I actually was like, oh, like that made me cringe. Like, holy <laughs> shit. The Aquaman scene, I thought that, I thought this was also really funny. I, it, like, I was really confused at first, but when he was like sitting on the lasso, he didn't, oh, and yeah, he yeah, starts yeah. like spilling his guts. I mean, like, he's like telling Wonder Woman she's hot and like starts saying like, I don't want to die. We're all going to die. I don't want to die. We're all going to die. You know, like this and that. <laughs> and like, and then everybody's like, yeah, dude, you're, you're on the rope. Like, I thought yeah. that was really funny. I think overall, like the, the, Superman coming back, it should have been more true to the comics. I know we talked about this, like, you know, uh, before we shot, but they should have done more with the black suit Superman. They should have had him actually have the black suit and and just been, you know, a, a different character. I, I did like, I feel like Henry Cavill is finally growing into his role as Superman. I think he did a really, really, really good job. Um, I just wish they would have taken it like a slightly different direction, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I totally agree with that. They should have gone a, a, a completely different direction. If they did do that, though, the whole, I think what could have been more interesting as an overall character and the bad guy for the entire movie could have been Steppenwolf maybe somehow was controlling Batman, or sorry, was controlling Superman because of the mother boxes. You know, he was brought back because of the mother box. Right. So since Steppenwolf's able to control some power from the mother boxes, it kind of makes would make more sense that Steppenwolf would be pulling the strings for Superman. Right. And then he then that's where we got the evil Superman. But it seems to me like they did what they did on purpose by using because in the in Batman versus Superman, when the General Zod so when like when they brought back General Zod in that same liquid that they brought Superman back in, and then he turns in you know, General Zod turns into Doomsday, and then we have, you know, Superman has to be brought back with one of the mother boxes. And so now they're setting up because of that whole mother box thing is in a future movie where he's gonna they're still gonna be able to use that plot line where he's gonna turn evil. Because somebody is actually coming who can control all of the mother boxes, and since he's brought back because of that power, so it just it, like I Dark think side? that it would have been yeah, it is Dark Side. Okay. I mean, as far as it goes, it, it just I don't know. I I liked the movie the way that it was. I just wish some things could have been different, yeah. even with the storyline of the continuity, like of how it, it it flowed. And as far as I know, we had talked about this earlier. I mean, Batman versus Superman to Justice League, like it. There's no like connection between the two movies. It's just so odd to me. I know that like in the end of Batman vs Superman, they erect the whole like you know Bat Superman image and all this stuff, and like all of a sudden everybody hates him, and then he saves the world, and everybody loves him. Right. But it's just it was just so kind of it just it didn't feel right yeah. in Justice League. Like that something something wasn't quite right going from Batman versus Superman to Justice League. Right. And, and it seems to be what they keep doing with Superman. Like, in the beginning, like, everybody loves him, everybody hates him, everybody loves him, everybody... And, like, every time he saves the world, everybody's like, oh, you're great! And then, like, yeah. you know, but like, a building falls over and everybody's pissed at him, you know? Like, so it's like, you can't have both. <laughs> um, so, I, yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, what did you think of the... We did watch the first end credit scene, and I watched the second one when I got home, because um, we had to evacuate because of our... Or cheese fry situation. Well, you gotta, you gotta tell yeah, them no. now. So I guess I should explain. Um, so we sat in the VIP section of the movie theater, and um, they we ordered some food. We had like a big bowl of uh, fries with with nacho cheese sauce on them, and they come on the, this tray that goes into your cup holder, like it like just sits there, and it wasn't all the way in the cup holder. Uh, it was on my wife's side, not my side. Just a clarif point of clarification. And it uh, and it basically just fell off and it, it like just fell onto the ground. Like I remember a couple of people laughed at us and somebody actually clapped for us, so it was pretty good. But as soon as the lights came on, we were like, we were out, like we were going. <laughs> like get the hell out. <laughs> yeah. um, but, so I really, really, really liked the uh, the race scene between Flash and Superman. I thought that was yeah, so that was funny. totally ripped straight out of the comic. Like, who's the fastest man? Yeah, like it, it, I loved that, and it 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 was just a great scene. It was just a little funny nod to like an old old school comic book, mm -hmm. but. It had nothing significant to do overall with the story, but it will be funny because we never actually got to see who who it was. If in any of the future Justice Leagues, now there's this like little banter back and forth because right. we never got to see who it was. Like if they never show it, and then there's just jokes back and forth about who actually was the fastest. Right. So is the the end credit screen? Is that the? And I want to make sure I, I pulled the right scene on YouTube, where the credits say like everyone is Jason Todd. No. No. Oh, what is it then? 
I must have okay, not so played. basically, yeah, the second credit ends where it's going into Gotham, uh, Arkham Asylum, I apologize. It's in Arkham Asylum, and you're basically looking as some inmates are coming out of cells, and then the one inmate they're showing is Lex Luthor, but you can only see the back of him. So they're zooming in, this guy's telling him, come out of your cell, and then it zooms in into there, and when the guy goes to turn him around, it's completely not Lex Luthor, it's somebody else altogether. And then the next scene, it cuts away, and it's like this boat going out over to another boat. And then the guy gets off the boat, and he goes up there, and it's Lex Luthor already sitting there on this yacht. And the character is Deathstroke. So they basically uh, introduce Deathstroke, uh, and Lex Luthor, basically Deathstroke's just like, you better not be wasting my time. Like, what are we doing? And then uh, Lex Luthor basically says, we need to start a league of our own. Oh. So, ergo... Legion oh of Doom. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I'm I, so upset I missed that. I, I would have stayed. I just like, would have hid in the corner and watched it if I would have known. I'm pretty positive that in scene, though, sets up Deathstroke for maybe the standalone Batman movie. It's not too sure. They haven't announced who the actual bad guy is going to be for the standalone Batman movie. And I know there's just a lot of weird things happening with that movie right yeah, now as like, far as like Ben Affleck, Affleck stepping to, away. I don't and, know why. Why would you not want to be Batman for a couple more movies? Like, seriously. I would be Batman for free. No, 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 no. I... I, it's not that he doesn't want to be Batman. It, I think a lot of those headlines that people are reading are just, like, totally wrong. It's that he, he, he doesn't want to direct the Batman movie. No, he... Because no, there's just there's a new article, too much pressure. He has been saying he wants to find a way to exit the Batman role gracefully. He totally no, 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 wants and, and out. Yes, no, I, I did read that. And there actually is... I was reading some other stuff, and there is a way for him to get out of the Justice League. And I think that... If they do pull it off right and they bring in, you know, like, they could bring in Batgirl or, or they could bring in, uh, who was it, Nightwing? Uh, who was, uh, yeah. who, who was it? Uh, Robin's already dead, so they obviously can't bring Robin back. Uh, but who was the, it was like Nightwing, Batgirl, like, there's a few other characters that they could bring in to, like, replace him overall in that aspect. You can't do that, though. The Batman is a part of the Justice League. I mean, like... I guess you could have Nightwing, but he wouldn't have the same impact in the movie as Batman. No, he definitely wouldn't. But as far as the death of Batman, though, they better do it right. Like if they if if Ben Affleck is trying to get out of this movie by killing off Batman, then you better do it. For, like you, you better do it justice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> justice <laughs> league, justice league. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I I think that so in this there's gonna be a, a standalone Batman movie where you know he might die. And I guess that would set up, you know, something, but I just, I don't know. No, I, I don't think he's going to die in the standalone Batman Do you think maybe There's no switch way. Actors? I think that either they're, well, I mean, they could recast him. At this point, anything's possible due, due to the fact that, like, look at uh, freaking Hugh Jackman just left, you know, Logan Wolverine, which was his career maker. Yeah. Not saying that Batman is a career maker for Ben Affleck by any means, yeah. but, I mean, you it, imagine if they recast you know, Logan in a future X-Men movie with a completely different actor, and then we're all not saying... It's it's one of those things where if you put somebody else into a different role, kind of like when you have 007, or you have those movies where they're completely changing actors all the time. Right. Like, like even Batman is one of them, right? You had Christian Bale, you had Michael Keaton, you had... You know what I mean? You had all these actors, and then now you have freaking Ben Affleck, so... I mean, it's totally doable. They could totally find somebody else to take over Batman. I will be so. And it, I will be it, so pissed if they recast him. Personally, I really like Ben Affleck's Batman. I really do too. I don't understand why he's feeling like he wants to get out of there. One of the reports that I read is that Warner Brothers was pushing hardcore on him when he was trying to direct as well as act mm -hmm. for the Batman movie. And I know that that's the reason why he wanted to step away from the Batman movie, the directing. Right. So, so then he was doing, then he was going to do just the character. It, so it, it could just be because the movies aren't doing so hot. I mean, honestly, it could be, it could be that. It could be just the fact that like Batman versus Superman didn't pan out. Now this movie is not doing stellar at the box office. I mean, it's certainly going to make back its budget, but. You, mm, it, I mean, it's it's going to be close if if it doesn't hit it. Oh, dude, it, it, I mean, it already made like two hundred twenty something million overseas. Yeah, it's got it's got ninety five million domestically. So here here ninety five million. It has like a hundred and eighty million, I think, over internationally. So it's over two hundred and eighty eight million dollars on a budget of 
you got, but you have to factor in the budget of the movie, also marketing, like promotions, all that crap. Like you know, they have to double whatever all of that right. is. So I mean, you're looking at probably like seven hundred million dollars, eight hundred oh, million before you even turn a profit. That's, that's, it ha that's way too much. No, 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 no. But you're talking about marketing, though. Think of all the crap that you've seen recently I when can you see go them into spending like, like another anywhere or two hundred million on marketing. Maybe, but not like doubling the movie's budget. That'd be that'd be insane, dude. Well, but you have like the whole tours, though, like things that we don't physically see that happen. So Comic Con, you got to get all these actors to come to this panel. You get, who's who's paying them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sales. Like that money is that money is coming out of like that budget for them to be there because Warner Brothers hired sure. them. So all of the money, any appearances that were for specifically for Justice League, I mean, they're eating away money. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, I just, I just hope he, I hope he doesn't leave. I hope they don't recast. I'll be really upset if they do. I'll be really hurt if they do because Batman is my favorite character. Do you have any other thoughts as far as like? Uh... Well, I did. I just as a quick before we move on from Batman, I did hear a quick thing though that they are apparently setting the next Batman standalone movie in Arkham Asylum. So that should be pretty freaking amazing. That's really cool. I guess the only other thing I would, I would want to say is that where do you see the future of this going? Do you see that, I mean, obviously we're going to get like an Aquaman movie, another Wonder Woman movie, and then maybe another Justice League movie, and that'll probably be it, I would think. I mean, I don't think there's going to be... Uh, well, we're getting, we're getting a standalone Cyborg, standalone Green Lantern. I mean, we're going to get a Suicide Squad 2. I mean, so they're definitely, I mean, there's a lot of movies in the works. Yeah, I just... For sure. I feel like these movies just aren't doing as good as they're hoping, and they just keep plowing forward. I mean, because for, they're just like committed to the course. And I hope we get all these movies. It, I just, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I am a little concerned about that as well. Like, what if we get, you know, two or three more movies, and they've lost so much money that they just decide to like scrap it all together? Right. What if, what if somehow like Wonder Woman two tanks? Like, they're just gonna be like, oh no. You know, like, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say doubtful on no, that it because is that's it's like, the highlight. The highlight of Justice League was the whole Amazonian portion, right. <laughs> like in, almost in the very beginning. Like it was amazing. Yeah. Like that that part excited me hardcore. I, and, I, and I don't think it would tank, and I, I think it would be almost impossible to make a you know make a movie like that do badly. But what happens if it does? Do we still get other movies <laughs> at that point, or does DC say like, oh my God, we're done? You know, like what do they do? Yeah, for sure. So, hey, I, that's a good question. I guess we'll have only time will tell. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's uh, I think that's it for our review. Um, if you guys have any other questions or thoughts on the movie, let, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you guys saw the yeah, movie, yeah, and if you guys saw the movie, um, definitely let us know below and let us know like what your favorite scene was. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys and we'd love to talk about it. Yeah, let us know who your favorite character was. I mean, I would say the standout character overall for the movie was the Flash to me. I, I loved the Flash. This character was great. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, guys. Well, if you ended up liking this episode, please go ahead and slap that like button. Also, too, if you're new here to the episode, please go ahead and slap that subscribe button as me and T-Rex87 do post content here every Monday through Saturday. All right, as and always, I've been TieFly85. And I'm T-Rex87. And always remember, stay awesome. Stay awesome.